Welcome student. Today we are going to learn how to express mathematical relationships using equations. As we all know, a numerical expression consists of numbers and operations carried on those numbers. Let's read this statement. It says that the weight of a luck dragon in pounds is four times the age of the luck dragon. We need to tell that how much it would weigh when it would be five years old. Now, the weight of five years old luck dragon would be four times five pounds. Here, four times five is a numerical expression as it has both numbers and operation of multiplication. It can also be written as shown. We shall now define variables. A variable is a letter which can represent one or more numbers. Its value is not fixed. A variable expression, like a numerical expression, consists of both numbers and operations along with the variables. An example should clarify the concept. In this equation, 4 plus 5x equal to 9, 4 and 5 are numbers, x is a variable and plus is the operation. So, 4 plus 5x is a variable expression. Real world problems can easily be solved by creating a verbal model and using it to write verbal expression as we will see shortly. In this table, I present some common phrases which indicate various mathematical operations. Phrases like plus, the sum, increased by, more than, and total depict addition. Similarly, phrases like minus, the difference of, decreased by, less than, or fewer than depicts subtraction. Whereas, for multiplication, we use times, the product of, and multiplied by. For division, divided by, divided into, or quotient of, are used. Let's understand that by taking an example. Calvin is X years old and John's age is twice the age of Calvin. We need to tell that what would be John's age in terms of age of Calvin. As Calvin is X years old and John is twice the age of Calvin, so John's age would be 2x. Here 2 is a number, x is the variable and multiplication is an operation. Let's use our knowledge of verbal expressions to translate the data given as the cost of t-shirts into verbal expression. The cost of yellow t-shirt is given to be x dollars and the cost of red t-shirt is x plus 0 0.10 dollars. This means that the cost of red t-shirt is 0 0.10 dollars more than the cost of yellow t-shirt. Similarly, consider the two pencils shown. The length of pencil B is X, whereas the length of pencil A is 
x plus 5. So we can say that pencil A is 5 units more in length compared to pencil B. Now we shall discuss a very important section for solving the problems that is called evaluation. For evaluating a variable expression, we need to substitute the value of each variable and then calculate the final value of the numerical expression. Let's take an example. We need to evaluate 5 times h where h is given to be equal to 12. So, we will substitute the value of h which is 12 in the variable expression. We, so, we will get 5 times 12 which is equal to 60. This is the answer to the variable expression. For better clarity, let us evaluate this expression. We are given a variable expression as 2x plus y where value of x is equal to 12 and value of y is given to be equal to 2. We will simply plug in the values of the variables into this variable expression. So we get 2 times 12 plus 2. On solving, it becomes 24 plus 2 which gives us 26 as the answer for the variable expression. This brings us to the end of the class. Hope you have learned something. Thank you so much. Take care. Goodbye.